The question of who was the first to invent the telescope is as old as the instrument itself. On October the second, sixteen o eight, the Dutch Estates General examined an application for a patent for quote, a device to observe things at a distance, unquote, presented by a certain Hans Lipperhey, an obscure spectacles maker from Middelburg in southwestern Holland. The patent application was rejected on the grounds that although the usefulness of the device was recognized, especially for military purposes, it was deemed impossible to keep the secret of its construction for very long. And especially considering that in those same days, another instrument maker, a certain Zacharias Janssen, he too a spectacles maker in Middelburg, indicated by Pierre Borel. A few decades later, as the true inventor of the telescope, declared that he knew how to build the instrument. News of the invention spread rapidly throughout Europe, and already by April 1609, little telescopes about 30 centimeters long were to be found on sale at the shops of spectacle makers in Paris and presumably in London. In Italy. The new instrument made its appearance at Milan in May of the same year, and two or three months later in Rome, Naples, Padua, and Venice, where Fra Paolo Sarpi, a friend of Galileo, had heard news of it already by November 1608. Galileo fabricated his first telescope with only three magnifications in the summer of 1609. But already on August the twenty-first of that year, in the bell tower of San Marco, in the presence of the Doge and other Venetian notables, he presented an instrument that had eight magnifications, and that won him a lifetime appointment to the Padua Chair of Mathematics, at a salary of one thousand florins a year. In November. Galileo had at his disposal a telescope with twenty magnifications, that is, more powerful by far than all the others circulating through Europe at the time, which utilized ordinary lenses made for spectacles of low quality and with unsuitable focal lengths. The instruments developed by Galileo were highly superior in performance. For example. To the telescope with six magnifications, with which the Englishman Thomas Harriot had conducted observations and made drawings of the lunar surface in July 1609. Thanks to the power of his instrument, Galileo achieved exceptional results in his observations of the moon, demonstrating, in fact, that its surface is not perfectly spherical nor immaculate. And even managing to calculate the height of the lunar mountains. Subsequently, Galileo was to make the exceptional series of astronomical discoveries described in the Siderius Nuncius, published in March 1610, and destined to revolutionize forever the traditional view of the cosmos. He was to discover, first of all. The existence of a myriad of new stars, showing that the Milky Way is quote, none other than a mass of innumerable stars scattered in clusters, unquote. And again, he was to observe the strange appearance of Saturn, whose true cause, the presence of a ring around the planet, was to be found by Christian Huygens nearly half a century later. He was the first to observe the phases of Venus, which conclusively demonstrated that the planet moved, orbiting around the sun. But the discovery that brought him immortal fame in January 1610 was that of the four satellites of Jupiter, which Galileo, in homage to the dynasty that ruled Tuscany, named Astri Medici or Medician planets.